please say after me, Father. One more time, say, Father, this morning, I obtain grace to soar in the spirit. I obtain grace to understand everything you have to say. Go ahead and pray. Shabarus, Haranda Barato Sevreke de Belegadash. Shabarakos Sada Barato Sege de Belegados. You are praying in the spirit. Shabalada Bagata Branda Gebereko Savras Gebeledesh. Sada Balakata Barata Gabas. Helabas, Kebras Gebelado Katafata Gedebelegata Badabus. We obtain grace. We obtain grace. This morning we obtain grace. We obtain grace. We obtain grace. Sate barakato shavras kavalakatos. Kamrata barakato shavrakede beleke brasumet. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we are still praying. An excelling life is every believer's heritage in Christ. An excelling life, a life of glory, beauty, color, and excellence is every believer's destiny in Christ. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 and 2, a scripture that has inspired me so greatly. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command you this day. Watch this. That the Lord thy God will set thee high above. How many? Regardless your current location, he says he will set you above all the nations of the earth. This was not a parable. This was not just a statement with a prophetic meaning. It literally meant what he said. Above all the nations of the earth. Then he says in verse 2 that all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake you. You are going to pray. Lord, what my eyes need to see this morning to soar into the next level, the next height, the next altitude in the spirit. Open my ears and open my eyes. There is something your ear needs to hear. There is something your eyes needs to see like Habakkuk. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. You may not need to hear everything. You may not need to see everything. But that which I must see and that which I must hear as far as the next level of my prophetic destiny is concerned reveal to me go ahead and pray wash my eyes with al salve with high salve that i may see let my ears hear the sounds of the spirit with clarity and precision. He barakusa prakate belaga de fresca belaga dosh. Pranta paka prakete pareto sa fresca belaga barakotos yada. Alleluia. Alleluia final prayer and then we'll be seated the bible says they heard the word just like we did it says but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it faith in one word is obedience and obedience is a product of understanding you cannot be obedient in confusion the first law of obedience is clarity of understanding if you do not understand my instruction, you cannot obey. It doesn't mean you are a rebel. It just means you are confused. Hallelujah. Are we learning? This is very important. It's one thing to hear prophetic words, no matter how powerful they come. But you must obtain grace to obey. 
obtain grace to walk in keeping when peter looked at him and he says if it be thou bid me come he never said peter come he just said come whoever everyone was available to obey that instruction and get the same result had he called peter any other person who stepped out would be in disobedience because he specified like lazarus if he said come out resurrection would happen immediately because everybody dead will rise so he selected one person and said lazarus come out but in this case if it be thou bid me come he said come everyone had a chance to experience the privilege of walking on water but only one person took the step it's not the person who hears that gets the results is the person who takes that step father the grace the grace to act in keeping with the things i hear i received this morning go ahead and pray go ahead and pray the grace the grace That as my direction comes, as the instruction for the next level of ministry comes, the next level of business, the next level of influence in the spirit, I obtain grace. Not just to hear, not just to celebrate, not just to be excited, but to act in keeping. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name we are praying lord we obtain grace this morning and we lean upon the help the strength and the wisdom of the spirit we pray that you will help us in jesus name i believe that praying this prayer that the praying this prayer the lord has richly blessed you and i want you to continue to pray this prayer until you see the manifestation of god in your life and i also want you to subscribe to this youtube channel if you have not subscribed also share with one another of what the lord is doing through this channel and through the apostle jesus channel god bless you and remain blessed